friends, welcome to Circle Time. Today, we are going to have a party. Oh, yay. Hi, Caroline. Hello, I'm Caroline from the Khan Academy Kids team, and this is my friend Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Hi, I think we're already in party mode, aren't we? Yes, friends, are you ready to have a party with us today? <gasps> It looks like you're ready with your party hat. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a special party today, a pinata party. And first, we're gonna start with a book. This is a book by Cynthia Platt called Pinata Party. Olo and Sandy were having a party. They prepared blackberries and brownies for snacks. What game should we play? Olo asked. Let's make a piñata, said Sandy. Great idea, replied Olo. How do we make a piñata? Sandy knew the steps. First, they had to blow up a balloon into a round globe. Oh. Whoa, look at that. How does Olo look right now? Well, he looks like he's working very hard to blow up that balloon. And the balloon is going to help us keep the shape of the piñata. Mmm. Mmm. See. Next, we need to dip the newspaper in glue, said Olo. Then let's blanket the balloon with it, Sandy added. Be careful, replied Olo. We don't want to pop the balloon yet. Oh my goodness, this is how you make a piñata. Mm -hmm. You blanket the balloon in the gooey, slimy <laughs> newspaper that you've dipped in the glue. That's right, it must be very sticky. Once it was dry, they popped the balloon. Let's get some yellow paint and some brushes, said Sandy. They painted the piñata and sprinkled glitter. Oh, that's interesting. So the balloon helps us keep the shape, and then we pop it, and everything holds its circle shape because it's all dry now. Mm -hmm. I think it's the glue and the newspaper. When it's dry, it's hard. So it still is shaped like a balloon, even though you pop the balloon. Olo and Sandy stuffed the piñata with candies and plush toys. Our piñata is ready, Sandy blurted out. They hung the piñata from a branch. Let's grab our friends and start the party. Have any of you ever played with a piñata before? Do you know what happens next? I see a lot of our friends nodding. They've played with piñatas before now. Mm. We're going to try and bust open the piñata so that we can get to all the fun things inside the piñata. Mm-hmm. Sandy got a blindfold and a broomstick. This is hard, Cody grunted. I didn't even hit it, Rhea groaned. Olo and Sandy couldn't break it either. I think it's hard because they have this blindfold on. Oh, and they're trying to find the piñata with their eyes closed. That is tricky. And you have to be a little bit careful that you don't accidentally hit someone with the broom. Mm -hmm. So you have to give the person with the blindfold lots of space so that they can swing around and try and hit the piñata. Mm -hmm. They were starting to think no one could break the piñata. Then Peck picked up the broom. He took aim and with one big swing, the piñata broke. Treats blasted through the air and flew onto the ground. The friends looked through the grass for them. Great job, Peck, everybody cheered. Wow, I see some plush toy treats, and some very special treats, some candy treats, sometimes treats. Mm -hmm. 
and I see everyone who was looking a little bit frustrated and a little bit worried that they couldn't open up the piñata looking so happy. Sandy's got her arms in the air like cheering. Mm-hmm. Can you see what they had? They had blackberries and brownies mm-hmm. on their picnic table. That's nice too for their party. Mm-hmm. Looks like so much fun. Should we do some activities? Yeah, I think so. So this is the word brushes. Oh. They're paint brushes. And it starts with the two letters B R. So a B, friends, do you remember what sound the letter B makes? Oh, but. it makes a B sound. Mm-hmm. And R makes the R sound. And so together, B R makes the Br sound, like brushes. Like brushes. Wow, that's great. Yes. Can you think of other words that start with the B R sound? What about brown mm-hmm. and break mm-hmm. and broom? Those are great words. <gasps> and here's the word broom, another word, broom, B-R-O-O-M. They were swinging their brooms around trying to hit the pinata. And this is the sentence. Each friend has a broom. Can you find the word broom in the sentence? I think it's the last word there with the br sound. Mm -hmm. Broom. Broom. Let's try that. Great. That's the word broom. Here's another word. Groaned. This starts with the grr sound. G-R. The G normally makes the G sound, and the R normally makes the R sound. But together, G R makes grr. So groaned. They were frustrated and were groaning when they were trying so hard. Oh, I see. So they were trying to hit the pinata, and then they would say, "Oh, like a groaning sound." Gr- groaned. Okay, yeah. I think we've got that now. Thank you, Caroline. Mm-hmm. Let's try and find it in a sentence, huh? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Rhea groaned because she could not hit the piñata. Can you find the word groaned? Oh, yep. I see it there with the groan sound. Let's try it. Super. That's the word groaned. So these are are some things that you can use to make a piñata. Which things are the ones that you would use? Do you remember from the story? Well, I think you would use the balloon first. That Mm -hmm. was the first step to blow up the balloon. Olo helped us with that. Mm -hmm. And then we dipped the paper in glue. Mm -hmm. Glue. I think we painted it yellow. Yes, that's I can it. paint. Super! You can use a balloon, glue, and paint to make a piñata. Blank boom! Ooh. There's something in the story. Br. Br. Broom. Or bull. Bull. I think it's broom. Bur. Yeah. Cool beans. You spelled bur, oom. That's the word broom. In another sentence, the treats fell on the grass. Can you find the word grass? It's another word that starts with the grr sound. Yeah, I think it's the last word there. Grass. Let's try that. Great. That's the word grass. Great. Nice work, friends. Friends, that was a fun piñata party. Do you remember what did the friends have to use to open up the piñata? 
Hmm. Well, that was a really fun piñata party. It was more fun when Peck found the... Hmm, what was it? It started with a bro sound. I think, and our friends are helping us, it was a br broom they used to open the piñata. I have a little broom. Would this work? Hmm, friends, do you think Caroline's little broom would work to open that big piñata hanging in the tree? <laughs> Probably not. Let me look around. I have a big broom over here. Oh, lucky. Maybe this would work. We'd have to be careful, though. Sophie, would. do you want to see my broom? Oh, yes, please. I would love to see your broom, but I'm in my house. Maybe you could try passing it over to me. All right, we'll try that again. Here comes the broom. Oh, my goodness. Huh. This is Caroline's broom. Thank you, Caroline. Now I can open a pinata. Well, we don't have a pinata here today, actually, for Sophie and me, but we have some friends that are gonna visit us and show us how to make a real piñata. Wow, what are our friends' names? So we have teacher Emily hmm. and Sadie and Jagger, her helpers, who are all gonna show us how to make a piñata. Can we all say hello to teacher Emily and Sadie and Jagger? Hello. Hi friends, thank you for helping us make a piñata. The materials you will need is one cup of glue, one half a cup of water, a mold or a balloon, paper strips, um, any uh, mixing bowls, paintbrushes if you you're, if you're gonna use paint, paint if you would like to use it, or you could use some glitter. First, you pour your glue in. Then you pull your water in. You mix it. The next step is to get your mold or your balloon. And if you have a balloon, then blow it up or you can ask the parent to help. The next step is to take your strips of paper, dip it in the mixture really lightly. You only need a light coat. You may have to put some of the mixture back in the bowl and simply put the strip on your mold. Dip your paintbrush and then put it to the side, pat it on the side, and then you could paint it, paint it, and you could put it on the counter or the table. And you could start putting it on. Once you cover your mold with your paper mache, you're gonna set it aside and let it dry for a few hours or overnight. Once it's all dry, it'll look, it'll be hard and it will look something like this. And if you used a balloon, you can use a toothpick to pop the balloon inside and take it out so you'll have your pinata molds. There you go. Oh. Came Sadie's balloon. So now she has 
A piñata. A piñata, an empty mold. All right, so now it's time to paint and decorate your piñata. Jagger, what have you decided to paint your piñata as? I'm gonna paint my piñata as the smile emoji. Oh, fun, an emoji piñata. And Sadie, what about you? I'm going to do rainbow. Ooh, a rainbow but, piñata. No, I'm not going to do rainbow, it's a surprise. Oh, okay. All right, why don't you guys get started on painting your piñatas? Now, it may take a few coats of paint to go over your paper. So after you have stuffed your piñata with any treats or toys, you can connect it using a string. So I'm gonna use a hole puncher to punch a hole on each side. And Jagger, you wanna thread a string through there. All right, and then you tie your pinata string so that it's ready to hang. You can do a simple knot at the top so that it's ready to hang. Hit and drop all of your candy or toys. toys. Thank you for watching our show and tell. Thank you so much, Teacher Emily and Sadie and Jagger. That was amazing to see how to make a real piñata. What did you think, friends? Oh, we loved that. And some of my friends were asking me what actually can go in a piñata. Oh, mm -hmm. what do you think? Well, I think in the book, it was some treats and some little toys uh -huh. and some yummy things to eat. So maybe let's have a little look around. Oh, I have a little, it sort of looks like an apple, but it's actually a little toy. That's like a top that you can spin. Oh, that's good. Well, I have a Khan Academy kids Sticker. Maybe that could go on the pinata, and then when we break it, it would float down and we could catch it. Uh huh. And what about a funny little rolly guy here? Oh, I <laughs> love that rolly guy. That's great. And what about something delicious to eat, like a pear? Pear would be delicious. Yum. Mm -hmm. We'd have to be careful with it falling out of the pinata that we catch it. Uh huh. And I have a few balls we could put inside. A bouncy ball that oh, is made of wow. rubber that will be bounced very high. Mm. I have a ping pong ball, an orange one, and a pink mm. golf ball or something. Maybe we could put those inside. Great. And the last thing I have is a delicious honey crisp apple. My favorite. I'm going to put that in my pinata, I think. Uh -huh. And I have one last thing. <gasps> Wow. A little bell. <gasps> that would be fun to have in the piñata because when you were hitting and it was swinging, it would be making a bell sound. Mm-hmm. Well, that was a fun piñata party. I hope you friends can have a party today too. Maybe you can pretend to have a party or you could have a real party with your family. How does that that sound? sounds like so much fun. And if you can't make a pinata today, that's okay. You can just collect your fun little things that might one day go in a pinata. That sounds good. And now it's time for us to say goodbye. We will see you next time. Goodbye from Caroline, Sophie, and the Khan Academy Kids team. Bye-bye. Bye, friends. Bye.